Hey, what's up, everybody? Faye here, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we'll be going through episode 21 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Let's get into it. I know in the last episode, we ended up unlocking the 7th gym badge after defeating the ice type gym and its leader, Candace. Uh, now, I guess the next thing up is to uh, continue the story. I'm not really sure if the way to go. Check the map real quick, man. I have no idea where the hell it is. I'm not gonna waste my time with wild Pokemon, I don't need to catch. At least I'm not right about it. Ah! You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But, ew, it's so cold here. Let's get back to the Veilstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eternal City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ and Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to check up on my guinea pig as soon as this video gets done. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi, who is suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Alright, good luck with that. You got your ass beat by Jupiter. Just imagine how I would have done this. Okay, that would have been bad. Do I have to leave the area now or can I like check out? Oh, great. Side up. Pretty sure I have one of these. I could have caught this one and then like leveled it up once and had a hold of God damn it. Hey, speak of the devil, it's a gold up. I will say Psyduck and Golduck's shiny form is really making me sad. Psyduck's shiny form is really good looking. But Shiny Golduck is just so disappointing. It's not even that it looks bad, it's just, it doesn't look any different. It's just a slightly different shade than the regular version. It is really depressing. If I'm being honest, Infernape Shiny, even though it's gotten plenty of difference to be able to tell which one's which, honestly, I still prefer the regular one. If I'm being honest. Because the shiny form is kind of ass. It's got like nasty shades of pink and shit in it too. It looks awful. Bow. 
I assume this is the right place. the place I need to go? Where's Team Galactic HQ was? Is this actually it or am I being dumb? I guess I wouldn't mind taking a stop by here real quick. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the three. And I'm gonna check the other side here. Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic. Psychic is a really good move. Dazzling Gleam, Gyro Ball, Giga Impact, Ice Beam. other Pokemon. I'm gonna put Swords Dance on other Pokemon, but I would like to go ahead and put one of my Swords Dance TMs on Infernape and get rid of, uh, get rid of Power of Punch for it. Bam. Swords Dance boosts the attack stat by two stages instead of one, like Power of Punch. So it's a decent setup.
yeah, I have rock climb unlocked now. I can try to get that item. I hate the layout of this game. God damn it. Hopefully this will make some storage key on the ground like a retail. Alright. So if I go through here. This one. Really? So where's the storage? special key that I need that I need for that place. Oh, shut up, man. Oh my god. I might just like actually get up to go. broke off inside. I got a dust stone. Well, I can... I think there's like four Pokemon out of all the Pokemon that exist that uh, can evolve with that. One of them is Aegislash, which doesn't exist yet. One of them is Pontchrome, which does exist. I don't really remember the other two off the top of I'm fully fond with battling all of the uh, Team Galactic runs that are down here. Because defeating their Pokemon gives me XP, and I need Lockjaw to get XP, so.
door. See, I used to be down to that stuff in the other door after I opened it. So the door up there should be permanently open. But I can no longer use that. Yes. Grunchiest of the grunts. Okay. What's up, Bozo? They got some mid outfits with. Like, their outfits are mid, and their haircut is shit. Like, straight up. Like, I know I don't have the best looking haircut. In person, like, But at the same time, like, my haircut is a lot better than Team Galactic's hair. Real good.
first scientist we're having to battle in this area. Now I can't tell if you need something or if you just want my attention, little kitty. Good old. I hope this one will kill, otherwise I'm gonna be dead. Alright, don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna kill you. Because I'm good at this game. I'm not going to have to overlevel the fuck out of my team for some reason. Well, I don't have anything that could be good against these cadavers, unless I want to switch and take a bite, and hope that a bite is just not work. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I wanted to put a sword stand on my unlock jar. I think I'm gonna hold off on it at least until after it evolves to where I have the card on. Brave Bird? Oh, hell. Alright, drop aerial lace. We're getting Brave Bird. You'll love to see it. A Brave Bird on my own. Hell yeah. Love you more. Move Brave Bird. I'm not really a fan of the recoil damage. But at the same time, it's not that big of a problem. I like the floors down here. Sludge bomb! Okay, okay. I think I might be use that for... Oh, we got a galactic key. Is that only a one-time key? Perfect. Now I got the galactic key. Oh, this is I kinda wanna go through now and just open all the doors that I put in the door. Just because I can just go back through here. Go back up these stairs. Also, sludge bomb. Let me look at Sludge Bomb real quick. Make sure that's Wait. Okay, it's a special move. It does 90. It has 90 base power, 100% accuracy. It's a poison type move. Yeah, the thing is, I wanted to use the move Sludge Wave on Rose. Thing is, not only is that not an available TM in this game. But, also, from what I checked, Sludge Wave isn't even a learnable move for Rose or any of its evolution lines. So I think, but since it can learn the Sludge Bomb TM, I think I'm just going to teach it the Sludge Bomb TM. Man. Straight up. Yes. You will learn Sludge Bomb. I'm going to drop Toxic Spikes for it. We'll keep Toxic for now. If I want to drop it for something else later, then I will. I'm not sure what I would drop it for yet. I don't plan on using that one yet, but if I want to, full incense. Uh, kind of dark dust stuff. Other than, I can only think of one evolution line that's in this game that actually would need that. Not that I think of it. For real Okay, well, I don't think I need to access that building anymore, so... Let's head back over to the big galactic building. Does it still say head over? Okay, what that Re-enter the galactic HQ from the galactic Veilstone building. Okay. This is the wrong way. I'm gonna take a minute to get there just because of how bad the bike is. I think I have an idea. Jetstream, I don't really think I'm going to need that much anymore. So I think I'm going to just take Jetstream off the team, bring the Riolu egg back, and then once I hatch the Riolu egg, I think I'll either keep Riolu on the team for the sake of the level grinding or whatever, or I will. Or I'll probably, um, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, 
Alright, let's do this. The more the Let me see. So yeah. Once this Riolu I guess hatched. I'll either keep the real loot on me and let it get some level, some XP, and hopefully even some friendship points to where maybe it'll evolve on me. I can get that Pokedex entry done. Or, I'll take him off the team and put his Jetstream right back on the team, at least for a temporary play. Because I don't think that a is going to be on him. It, uh, it weakens your attack. Makes your attack weaker. So, what does poison do any of that kind of effect? I think I've already asked this question. Exactly 10 more levels on Lockjaw and he will be evolved into a Garchomp. <sighs> 10 more levels, man. Hold on. I'm going to switch Firepower out of the first slot. And I'm going to throw... Seeing a lot of Kadabras. And, uh... Yeah. Seeing a lot of Kadabras and... Whatever the other guy was. Dark type moves, ghost type moves. Damn, I got a fist plate, which I could put on firepower. I also have a charcoal. For now, I'll put the charcoal on firepower. Throw the magnet on auto zone. Okay. And then for now, that's all I'm gonna do.
Revive. I'm not complaining about that. Alright, let's go back through here and go to the last teleporter. Uh, the last teleporter. Three teleporters in the second room. I've already went through two of them. So let's go through the one. Let's just make sure there's no other ones in there. That'll fully heal the team. So I probably want to throw. I'm gonna throw fire power back in the front. Now we have the charcoal, so those fire type moves are a bit boosted. All right, we got a double battle. Uh, that means that as soon as this battle gets started, uh, fire power and lockjaw are gonna be the Pokemon that are out. Lockjaw is going to immediately get switched out. Do I know who I'm going to throw in for Lockjaw? No, but I think, I think I'm going to go with Starfire. Just because uh, I want to be able to take that Pokemon. Switch out. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go with Starfire. Yeah, I'm taking out a level 30 something program with a damn straight burn a little bit over the hills, I guess. The Intimidate will help out too with getting you a code these guys with physical attack lowered. Especially since I know that Krogon can take physical attack. At least I'm assuming he's the fighting type. With the aftermath, I, expect, I didn't expect it to do that much damage. Either. I knew aftermath did damage afterwards, but I didn't know it did that much. Firepower attack him and Grave Bird down. Okay, that takes down the other the new Krogon. Bam. Damn, level 54 on firepower is insane. Grave Bird. I'm gonna do some recoil. But it takes out the Krogon in the process. That. So I think there's just two more Pokemon to send out from this guy. Whammy out is one of them, but I don't think the other one will be coming out. I don't really want to waste it. by losing to me. Let's be real good. You probably weren't gonna get a promotion anyway, depending how even you were to Oh, we got more teleports. Well, I guess let's see where they leave. Yeah, if this was the right teleport, then I guess I won't be looking for the board to be Alright. Oh, hey. I see. You must be the trainer of the hearing about foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I'd hardly expect to see that the trainer is a mere child. I heard that our commander had a rough time. I know why you're here. I can sense it. It's about you, see Master now has up, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. To 
heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I can tell you. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? Until you can rescue them, you can rescue them out of pity. Such pitif pitifully useless emotions, illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and black and human heart. You were compelled to come here by such you, I don't know what that word is. Such mentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Alright. I accept your challenge. Damn, his 3D model looks awful. Especially the way his head is shaped. That is an awful 3D model. Shut up! Charcoal boost and flame throw. Flip stab. Constant perfection. Yeah. Got to roll back. I was switching out for this one. Go to auto zone. Flip stab. Super effective. And it's magnet boost. So it's just like strong. Huh. Should I go with this one? Thunderbolt. Hold on. Do I still have two uh, chicken cutters? Yes, I do. I'm gonna go with Thunderbolt just to make sure I I get the time to go down. All right, that takes out Golbat. That's two of his Pokemon. Down. I think he has four. Pretty sure one of the other Pokemon he has is Sneasel. Yeah, there. I should have switched. My last Pokemon. Yeah, I should have switched. Got it. Level 43 regular Sneasel, my boy. You crazy? And once I get that Razor Claw, I'm evolving my Sneasel and bringing it into the team. Level Dark Hell. Once I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it learn Night Slash. And eventually, uh, I won't be able to get it to learn Ice Shard by level up since that was a Sneasel specific move. For, for like level 40 something. Night Slash is a Weavile specific move at level 35. Currently, my Sneasel is like level 32. I would much rather not level him up yet, at least until after I get him evolved so I can have Night Slash on him. Interesting. I'm quite, my bad, I'm quite curious. Alright, thanks for the money. I see, you are indeed strong. The basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And like all illusions, they fade over time until death vanishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotion as, as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize you are strong and courageous to come along. This is your reward. Damn, the Master Ball! Hell yeah! The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild. But it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends and partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of my po of Pokemon my own. Okay. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the Wolf Panel ahead. I'm off to Mount Coronet. That's, that's correct, Mount Coronet, when you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and then put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. He's about to awaken Giratina. Not Giratina. If I remember correctly, like, Garrotine is part of the post game. I believe we can also get Arceus in the post game. Latio, Latia. Okay. What the fuck? You might be able to catch Dark Ride. Oh, sad. You, you came all the way here just to save some Pokemon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. 
consider payback for your insulting me at the lake. Wait, which lake are you talking about? Look at this ugly ass motherfucker right here. Saturn, about to fuck you up, though. Cadaver? I bet. I accept the challenge, man. Watch. Firepower will solo your whole team. I'm not switching on. I don't care what my position is. Okay, 87 health. That's all I need. Damn. Alright, that takes down the cadaver. First Pokemon down. Firepower, all you gotta do is take out the next two Pokemon from this guy by yourself. You got it, man. If you do end up going down, the rest of the team will back you up. Oh, you got it. Bronzer is easy. If you stab super effective with the charcoal, you can easily take this guy out. It's the next guy we probably should be worried about. I don't know what it is. Take out the bronzer. Just like that, that's the bronzer out of the way. There's one Pokemon left on this guy's team. I believe that you can take it out yourself. There's one down on the level. Let me see it. Toxic burn. Alright. Firepower, I believe you can do this. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's use another flamethrower. I don't know how well it will do, but. Alright, we Oko. That takes out this guy's whole team. And gives firepower all the bragging rights against this guy. And me, well, you're tough, kid, but I still pity the life of Dog, I whooped your ass multiple times now. God, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. I think you can also catch these three guys in the post game as well. Yes. Alright, I released the late guardians. And they teleported back to their caves. Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning planning to do up there? I know what he's planning to do. Oh shit. I gotta go to Mount Coronet and stop him from his big plan. This is gonna be AIDS. I kinda wanna wait until the next episode to do that though, but we still got some more time left on this video. So I guess I'll go ahead and head up there. I want to see what's in the detail board before I you know, there's like any items or something I would let them on. Like that. An elixir. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can buy those from the store. So, getting that one. Now let's go through the other teleporter and check if I missed anything. Where's Mount Coronet out of the map? Alright. Oh, so that might be a pain in the ass. Is Sunny Shore gonna be the final town to get to? 
it must be really cheap. Cause like all of this shit has to be post game stuff. Like it, it wouldn't make sense otherwise. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's got the battle tower. There's no way in hell this isn't post game stuff up here. Now there's the Pokemon League, along with whatever the hell this is next to it. Another route apparently. And then this is this has to be all Victory Road in between it. Shore. Yeah, so this has to be where the 8th gym is. That's what I'm guessing. Sunny Shore has the 8th gym and it's the last time. So just figuring out where to go. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I need to heal, don't I? No, I don't. Let me check that map again. Okay, so I go left and then up. So there should be a pathway or like a thingy over here. So I go. Oh my God, really? be close to hatching. Okay, that's good. That means that it could have hatched. Hatching. I do that. God damn it. I moved like one footstep forward. Bam, another Pokemon. Yeah. A youth from one of that. That's tough. The faster I can get out of this damn patch of grass, the better, man. Wow, a Bidoof. That's so scaly. I mean, what level are these Pokemon if it's a fucking Bidoof? If Bidoof evolves to level 50. Level 16 has the ball. Yeah, I... Oh, shut up, guinea pig. God damn. Homie, do you ever just shut up? You know what? Anywhere I can go with this. What's the point of that? That has a little more focus. Wouldn't have made any damn sense otherwise. Well, I have rock farm now. I didn't have rock farm in the first guy. I use rock farm in this spot. This guy's probably like a Yep. There's no way in hell I just rock climbed up here just so I could battle a damn train. It's fine though. He has three Pokemon. Take care of the train. Get some extra pocket money. Get some extra speed. Um, and then level 35 though. Like, I guess it is around the same level as the, the Team Galactic run that I did with them. I guess I'm going to Graveler. Alright, I'll switch to Rose here. So, looking on the team, I think the final team might be Infernape, Roserade, Garchomp. The Raptor, Weavile, and Magnezone. That might end up being the final game. We're not bringing Weavile in yet because even though I have a Sneasel, I can't evolve it until I get the Razor Claw. And I don't have a Razor Claw yet. So that's gonna have to wait. And the rest of the team I do already. I do have a Riolu egg. I'm trying to hatch the Riolu egg. 
it's about like halfway done right now, I think. It said it may be close to hatching. It's got like a three stage thing, if you guys know anything about hatching eggs in Pokemon games. There's like the beginning stage when you first get it where it's like it doesn't seem close to hatching. And then you keep running around and doing shit while it's in the party. It's like it may be close to hatching, so that's like the middle stage, but that's like the stage it's at right now. Uh, and then there's the third stage, once you do some more movement with it, where it's like, oh, it, this egg will hatch soon. And then the final stage is when it's finally fully ready and it just hatches. You know what I mean? <sighs> is it just, is it literally just a, a man with two breakable rocks up here? Dead ass. That was the most useless spot to need rock farm for up there. Am I gonna unlock the waterfall, uh, waterfall hidden move thing after the eighth gym? Hello, Chingling. I already have one. Of these. Gems to your Pokemon and wasting slots. That shit was some of the most annoying shit back in the day for the older Pokemon. Like, dog. It's just a better quality of life. You know what I mean? Because I would have had to teach Strength to Infernape, Cut to like some random ass to do if I can. Uh, and I would have had to keep that damn thing on my team. So. God damn it, I didn't even get to move, man. Hello, Meditation. Yeah, dumbasses. If I get a shiny in here, I'll get it. If it's a shiny Ching with a micro. get a master ball this episode which is amazing it's absolutely fantastic so if i might title this video like obtaining the master ball and uh, saving the lake trio the lake guardians or whatever bottle of protein all right let's see what the other one is it's got to be a poke or something at this rock climbing thing God damn it. Wasted all that time trying to get up there for nothing. Are you serious? Man, I'm tired of getting stuck right there, dog. Get back in the water. Cool. Alright, rock climb. Go to its own section of the mountain. Oh. Ooh, a max potion, nice. Okay. An escape rope, that's gonna be useful. Especially since I used all my all my other escape ropes up when I went back to the Wayward Cave for my Gibble and my Earthquake team. I used up both the escape ropes I had, which was all the escape ropes I had at the time. Wow. 
Wild level 37 Pokemon. That actually might be good for level grinding at the point I'm at right now. At least for a uh, lockjaw, it might be useful. And I do want to see where this is. Hello, Clefairy. Are you level 37? Somewhere close to that, like that Machoke was? Because Machoke might be a good uh, thing to kill up here for XP. Don't think that Clefairy is good. God damn it, man. I'm getting real tired of these damn. Pokemon popping up. Then you start flying. Hell. I want to just get all the Poke Boots that I possibly can, man. That way I can. Ooh, the Rock Slide TM. That's a pretty good move. Do I know if I'm going to teach it to somebody? I have no idea. For now, I'm just going to keep it. Keep in my bag. I'm not selling it. It's a really good move. I don't know why I would sell it. Bronzong is probably going to be a really good Pokemon to kill for XP. I'm actually going to go ahead and kill it real quick. See how much XP it is. Level 38. Fully evolved Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. Like, damn. It gave Lockjaw almost a thousand XP. That's not bad. Once I get this Poke Loot up here, I'm probably gonna end the video off. After I get there's a Poke Loot right up here. I'm gonna run away from this Chansey battle. And once I get this Poke Loot that's up here, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and just end the video. Just like that. Just get along. Run away from this goofy ass fairy. Cool. Revive. Gotta revive. All right. And I'm gonna stop right here before uh, before I try to get myself in a better position for next episode, and then end up getting in another wild battle. So I'm gonna end the video off here, guys. So if you like what you saw, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you wanna check out my other socials, you can go to the about section of the channel or to the description of this video and all my other videos. And with that all being said. My name is Fate, this has been episode 21 of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!